Good morning, lovelies and love lovers. Lovers and lovelies. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Hope you guys are doing great this morning. This is a little morning message reading for you. Uh, this week, the veil is thinning between you and your ancestors. I've had a couple of really interesting conversations with friends of mine where their their uh, one had her grandpa grandfather come through. Um, so I'm going to be looking at some ancestors type readings over the course of Halloween uh, when the veil is very, very thin. So that'll be interesting to see. Also going to be doing some um, twin flame readings and maybe some Scorpio season readings this Friday. Ta -ta -ta -ta! All right. I won't hold you in any suspense anymore. Uh, the Ellis Illuminator, Sonia, is going to be with me on the Friday live. So that will be fun. She and I are friends, and we have a good time when we talk. Um, she is in Amsterdam. I am here on the East Coast. So the noontime reading is perfect for both of us. Um, hope you'll join us. Hope you'll join us. We are going to be talking Twin Flames on Friday. All right. Cool, huh? So let's see what's going on for you this morning. I'm also going to be introducing you to the, um, the artist who did the tarot deck for us over the course of early November. So next week, you'll see that. I'm going to send you a little video or show you a little video about Juliet, Juliet Gilden and her process. And we're so excited uh, for the tarot deck. So we'll be opening up, uh, if you want to purchase one, we'll be opening that up next week. All right. All right. So let's see where we go here. I'm already thinking about doing an Oracle deck and, you know. You know how it goes. It's just like creativity flows. Awesome. All right. Open heart underneath. Beautiful heart chakra awakening for those of you who've already had one. Ah, I was wondering when this was going to show up again. Containers. This is a little, um, I, maybe I might read this to you. Containers is about um, little tiny boxes organizing your life a little bit or reorganizing things. I'll read it because I can't remember exactly. And then the timeline one showing up again. I feel like with your heart chakra awakening, things may um, uh, reorient in your belief system. Things may reorient themselves um, in your life. Okay, let's see. Um, containers. Containers here. All right, let's see. It's a really cool little, this is like, as the past, as in the past, timelines. As in the past, we crave, a no we crave a knowing of where we begin and where we end energetically. This need for energetic boundaries can become a blessing or a curse according to the emotional context that brought these boundaries into being. Healthy boundaries allow the flow of energetic information to pass through the auric field, giving an opportunity to ac access the moment and make healthy choices. Boundaries realized from fear and hurt become dark castles, limiting our experience on the other side of the emotional moat. I, that is very interesting because <clears throat> I've seen a couple of videos about creating healthy boundaries and I bookmark them. They're, you know, people who I, who I really like on YouTube, who do some really amazing coaching, good work. Um, and how, how much boundaries, boundary, not all boundaries are created equal. I think that that's what that's saying. So I feel like um, for some of you in terms of the twin energy, there can be some kind of new awareness about, um, for some of you, it's who your twin is, is coming to you. This is somebody from a long time line ago. Um, for some of you, when you had your heart chakra awakened in the recent past, you may revisit that this week. It's reorienting your belief systems. It's, it's reorienting your boundaries. And what I mean by that is healthy boundaries now. We have healthy boundaries. And that is creating another level of trust in that relationship. Very cool. Very, very cool indeed. All right, let's see where we go here. Let's see where we go here. Whoop. All right, okay, 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 okay. All right, so all these wanted to come out. So four of pentacles, eight, uh, sun, not the ace of pentacles, but the sun, judgment, ten of cups. This is one of my uh, twin flame cards. And 
I do feel like this this is a boundary card, right? The fours are boundary. Um, the pentacles are stable, things along those lines. So normally I could see this card as something that is holding you back. But I feel like this is something that is moving you forward. Being able to accurately create, erect good boundaries. And that is what creates happiness because you are... It's not just having the boundaries, it's, it's um, communicating about them, reinforcing them, sharing them with people, and then sticking to them, being like, okay, this is my boundary. This is, I, you know, this is somebody who is married, and even if there was an attraction there, my boundary is, I don't do that, okay? Something like that. All right, so nine of swords, two of swords, queen of wands, Knight of Pentacles, Hanged One, Two of Cups, Leo, I feel like this is you, the sun, okay? And you could be dealing with a Virgo who has been a Virgo or a younger earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, who has been held up despite the fact that there's love between you. I feel like they might not have allowed it in. That's their boundary. I don't allow love in. And you're like, why? <laughs> Nine of swords, two of swords. So you're like, there's this anxious energy about, okay, but this person's my twin. How could they not let love in? Or this is my, this is a soulmate for me. And how can they not see me? How can they not? And the two of swords is like, okay, well, you know what? I've got a boundary now and my boundary is you're you're not exhibiting loving behavior. So my boundary is not letting you in. And it's not about it is about balance a little bit, but it's also about someone who is not exhibiting loving behavior or someone who's exhibiting um confused behavior. It's just like, you know what? I don't really need that. So you go over there and you figure it out, right? It's not like get out be gone with you. It's not like that. But Three of Cups, yeah, there was a third party connected to this. Four of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. So I like this kind of practical solution here about, hey, we had, um, there was a very strong attraction here in the past. And there is love here in the future. I feel like you're showing up as the Queen of Wands. They're showing up as the Two of Cups. So passion and love showing up here. There's still a Knight, though. Okay, and they're very slow, very slow moving. So for both of you, I feel like you're having a new assessment of that relationship, of what that was, how it expressed itself, what you're learning now about yourself and about being happy and what makes you happy. Sometimes sloppy boundaries make people very unhappy. Because not only you, but the other person, the other person doesn't know what you're going to do, but you um, also are not um, being true to yourself, right? Okay, this is my boundary. All right, well, I'll just move it this once. All right, well, maybe not for this person, okay? Um, and so there's work and effort here, eight of pentacles. There's work and effort. For this I feel like you very solidly are in a positive place um, this knight of coins has to release and let go six of cups coming back around four of cups seven of wands king of swords ace of pentacles okay so this person's um, boundaries have been messy they're either messy or they're rock solid but based in nothing, based in no philosophy, based not it, just being stubborn. This person's boundaries are based in being stubborn. They're not based in any kind of real, um, okay, this is who I want to be, or this is the person I aspire to be. And so therefore I create these boundaries. These are kind of random boundaries and they might've come from somebody else. The four of cups, and seven of wands they might have come from their family of origin and it's like this person is like now wait a second why do i have this boundary why is it not okay if, like for example if you're older than this person they have this random idea 
that because you have five or 10 more earth years on them, then it's something that is, doesn't it, it's not real. Okay. And that's just nonsense <laughs> that love is love. Okay. Love is love. And this person has some kind of random boundaries that are set up and they're like, wait a minute, wait a second. Why do I think that? And why am I blocking this person out of my life because of this random boundary? Why am I doing that? So releasing and letting go and allowing love to flow here. I do see this person being very clear now, uh, King of Swords, okay? Six of Cups and Ace of Pentacles, coming back around and making a new offer. Coming, and I feel like you've already known this, okay? You've already known about this, known, you know, what you wanted from this person. You feel like this person could be twin or could be a very strong soulmate here. Yes, that's a yes card. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups. Oh my goodness. Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Page of Swords Lovers. All right, there's a message coming in here. A message of love coming in. And I feel like you have, you've worked through this yourself about your own boundaries. Okay, you've worked through this yourself and you're like, okay, I, I'm clear about what I want. Like no more third party, not doing that. Um, it feels to me like this person might have kept in a relationship in order to push love off, in order to, right, this person's focused on third party connection. See, they're looking at the Three of Cups, not looking at the Ace of Cups. In order to be safe from love, they feel like wherever they are is safer than having love come in. So they've created a boundary around that. And now they're looking at that going, all right, I'm in that relationship, so I don't have to be in relationship. There's something about that relationship that isn't good for them or it doesn't feel they're they're seeing it now they're having an awakening moment here around this remember i said heart chakra this is the person who was involved with your heart chakra awakening or they're having a heart chakra awakening and they're reorienting their belief systems the containers and want to go back in time now they want to jump back into time because they're like okay i let you go that was stupid of me all right, so now they want to make a new offer here. Six of Cups and Ace of Pentacles. One more clarification. Two of Cups again. Two of Cups, Knight of Swords. Three of Cups, Five of Wands. This person uh, and both of you need to work on um, the other people, the third party situation, the anger, the, there's a lot of emotion to work through. Hi, UPS man. There might be some anger on your part, but there is some celebration about this person coming back to you for love, two of cups, coming back for love. All right. So I'm going to continue on with this message. This is definitely a very important soulmate here. I'm not sure if it's Twin Flame. We'll see if if um, Ten of Cups and Empress show up in the extended than it is Twin Flame that I'm talking about here. But it is most definitively a soulmate, very important soulmate relationship, Wheel of Fortune and Lovers. Page of Swords, you're getting a message about this, okay? I'll also do timing. Okay, link is below if you want to continue on with me. If you're on Patreon, the rest of the reading, reading begins right now.